Crumble Flare. Part 22. The Vale of Ireflin. By God, these tailors and hatters' receipts. I've never known anyone spend so much on felt and feathers. Crab Tight ought to be ashamed of himself. And he will be. I'll make sure of that. Hello, Winthrith. What are you doing back up here? I thought we'd agreed the accounts were a lost cause. Oh, hello, Your Majesty. Just tidying up, you know. All right, I'll leave you to it then, I suppose. Aye, you go on, Your Majesty. Yes. No new findings then? Nothing jumping out at you in your clean-up process? New, Majesty? Uh, no. No, nothing to see here. Just tidying away. That's right, Your Majesty. You know how it is. Always clear your trail. First rule of business. So much for a clear trail. Can't see the end of my nose in this mist. Ah, this is mist. This is fine rain. Very refreshing, boy. Refreshing? Tell that to my waterlogged shoes. I've probably got foot rot by now. Well, Duncan seems to be enjoying himself anyway. I dare say he'll be in his element. Ducks and damp go together like... Uh, uh, what do they go together like, young scab? Uh, like chivalry and valour, Sir Rafe? Spot on! You're coming along right well with your squirely learning. What a country! From the moment we set foot in Wales, it's been nothing but drizzle, mist and misery. And what was wrong with the farmer you asked for directions? Seemed to be a jabbering loon to me. Couldn't understand a word he said. He was speaking Welsh, Drilgy. Bleeding foreigners. Hey, we're over the borders now, see? You're the ruddy foreigner. Mind your words, boy. Now then, young scab, to continue your chivalry theory training, it is not only the duty of a knight's squire to attend him on the battlefield, but also to take his place should his knight fall. What? To actually get involved in the combat? Yeah, forsooth. He must stir his courage to the icky place and strike true at the enemy particularly whichever swine felled me, if you can. Right, folks, we're about to ascend the hillock of Fron. That's a hillock. In Wales it is, boy. That climb there is a gentle stroll to the pub in these parts. According to my maps, the Vale of Iavrin is sort of in a bowl, as it were, of hills and mountains. The hillock of Fron is the lowest peak, and therefore the easiest route in. Once we're in the valleys proper, we'll set up a camp overlooking the cave at the foot of Ivrin, the home of the Koch and Old Rag. That's Redback Dragon for the foreigners. <laughs> Onward, brave Hydra hunters! Oh, where are you going? Said Mildew to Mouldy. Oh, we may not tell you. Said Finger the Nose. We're off to the woods. Said Jeffrey Ella Rose. We're off to the woods. Said Jeffrey Ella Rose. And what will you do there? Said Mildew to Mouldy. Oh, we may not tell you. Said Finger the Nose. We'll hunt the dread dragon. Said Jeffrey Ella Rose. We'll hunt the dread dragon. Said Jeffrey Ella Rose. We'll hunt the dread dragon. 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 Said Joffrey Yellow Rose. I, I think Jasper, you will do nicely. Yes, we're well protected by this tree cover, but have a fairly clear view down to the cave mouth. How's your leg, Wallace? Oh, it was a tough climb, but I'll be all right. <laughs> I won't be doing much dancing for a while, mind. No. Once we've established that there is a dragon living down there, we'll set up the trap. What kind of trap? Are we going to dig a great big hole and cover it with branches? Oh, we'll be here for months. Nay, scab the squire. It's diggery. In your pack, that which you have carried well and true all this way, you have a great many ropes, do you not? With them, we'll string up a web-like structure across the cave mouth floor. You see? 
we'll lure the beast out. And as its legs tangle in the ropes, we'll lasso about its neck. Oh, it'll thrash for a bit. But once they know they've been caught, dragons is very docile. Like horses, in a way. If they're so docile, why do people go about killing them? Because people are idiots, boy. And dragons are deadly, evil beasts sent straight from the bowels of hell to devour young, virginal maids. Tis a wonder they don't expire due to malnutrition. See? Ah! You and your big beak are gonna get me killed! A dragon is going to hear your quacking and come looking for its dinner! Ruddy duck! Following me everywhere like a bad smell! Give him his due! Duncan here got us out of quite a jam with the great tit of Greenwood, didn't he? Duncan? I very much beg your peasantly pardon. I got us out of that situation with my wily wits and devastating charm. When you're quite finished blowing your own hunting horn, would you keep your voice down, pray? Never thee mind Duncan's quacking. Your self-congratulatory whinging will be that which attracts the dragon's attention. Listen here, chum. Shut up! Listen! The Song of the Dragon. Hey, that was just the wind. Weren't it? Oh, gold. I think I've just wet me hose. But I don't understand. It was just the wind moaning through the trees. The thing about dragons, lad, is you have to believe in them, see. What do you mean? I'll put it this way. You believe in your god, don't you? Yeah, of course. Right. But you've never seen him, have you? Well, no, but... Truth is, lad, people think all the dragons disappeared because St. Geoffrey went about killing them all. And so he did. Greatest night that e'er drew breath. Load of nonsense. The man was the biggest con artist in Christendom. <gasps> How dare you! The real reason no one sees dragons anymore is because they don't believe in them, see? Uh, look! Oh, Lord! This is it, Duncan! Hold me close, old boy! Look there! Moving through the bracken! Red scales! There she goes, by God! Where? What are you looking at? Oh, beauty! Right, we'll go down and set up the trap. She's heading home now, look! What is? Count me and Duncan out. We're staying here. Oh, no, you don't. On your pins, piddle pants. Come on! There's nought out there. Diggory, my boy, if there is no such thing as dragons, then there are no true heroes. And what kind of world would that be? Well, a cynical one, I guess, but... Then come. Let us capture a dragon. Red in tooth and claw and... Well, all over, really. Let's be heroes. Uh, uh, yeah, that's right. Get in nice and tight. Yeah. Diggory, make sure the peg is sunk deep. Get it in good and secure, lad. Uh, that's the way. What do you want me to do with this? Whatever you do, stop tripping over the ruddy ropes, you clown! Have a crying out loud, would you keep it down? Oh, heck and tarnation! I'm all snarled up in this lot now! Oh. That's right, laugh, blessed animal! Right, that's the trap set. You three, make your way up over the cave mouth roof, so Rafe and I will go in and chase the dragon out. Nay, good lady. I cannot allow a woman to walk into such peril. I think I'll be fine. Nay, I tell thee, it is too dangerous. Well, I can conjure fire. What can you do? R right. Yeah. Well, I think you'll be fairly safe, uh, as long as I am with you. Right! Come on then! Wallace, Diggory, be ready with that lasso! What about me? Keep Duncan safe. Right you are. Ah. Come on, up we go, lads! I think this is deep enough, Sir Rafe. Let's start making a nuisance of ourselves. <laughs> Wee! Hey there! <laughs> Come on! Run! By God, the 
Croft is crambling. Watch out, Brandleman! By the brows of Merlin. Could you feel that tremor in the ground? Oh, the dragon is pretty peeved at being disturbed. Oh, my God! <laughs> Duncan, if you get out of this, tell my hat collection I loved each and every one of them like a brother. Not one of my brothers, all of whom I haven't spoken to in over a decade, but... It's just an earthquake. They happen. Look here! Grundleburn and Rafe are coming out! Hammond, what? What is it? Is it the dragon? He looks like Sir Rafe is hurt. I'm going down. Is he all right? What happened? There was a rock slide. He pushed me, Claire, but... Uh... Sir Rafe! Sir Rafe, could you speak? Diggory? Diggory, come closer, lad. Go on, Sir Rafe. The squire must take his master's place. Remember? You must go on. Complete our mission, my boy. Capture the dragon. Be the hero. But there's nothing there. A knight, above all else, must have faith. Is, is he dead? I shouldn't think so. He only sprained his ankle. No, oh, get up, you daft beggar! The light grows dim. Shut up! Quick! The cave mouth is falling in! Wallace! Crabdite! Get clear of the cave! <coughs> Are we all safe? Aye. We all got clear, thank Merlin. Oh. I escaped another near-death experience, thanks to my noble steed here. Hey! I'm your squire, not your steed! Get off me! Ah! Aye, that was close. You bunch of blithering half-wit idiots! You could have killed me! I could be dead right now! Well, you're not. None of us are. Ah! Even Duncan. Oh, of course, he would make it out alive. Alas, there is no chance of capturing the dragon now. She has closed her doors against us forever. It was folly, really, to come. You can't capture a dragon. They're of the earth and air. The mountains are their home. Not a porky little castle. So, we go home empty-handed. That's right. Nothing ever changes at Crumbleflan. Dear Lord Crabtite, I write you this missive to inform you, cordially like, that I know. I know it all. On your return and receipt of this note, on no account must you ignore it. The knowledge I have may be kept to myself, but only on an agreement being made between me and thee. I am an enterprising woman, and I would gladly trade with you. Indeed, if you were amenable, not only will your secrets be safe, but your racket will be run a damn sight better than it has been. I look forward to your visit to my place of business at your very earliest convenience. Yours, Winfred the Weaver. There. He'll find it easily on his desk here. You know what they say. If a window of opportunity appears, don't close shutters on it. First rule of business. That was Crumble Flam. With Philippa James as Queen Ermintrude the Organised, David Boyle as Lord Crabtite the Cunning, Jacqueline Johnson as Grundleburn the Great, Wayne Ingram as Sir Ray Fairplay, 
Alice Osmanski as Winfrith the Weaver, Dylan Alcock as Diggory Scab the Squire, and Christian Patterson as Wallace the Welshman. Please visit us again at the castle soon.